out with me on the Louis Garcia show right here on Midwest, the Hollywood.com. It was a pleasure as it is each and every day to hang out with all my Raza, all my Midwest, that's all my Raza listening in down south, east coast, west coast. It was a party. He was born Luis Anthony Garcia in November of 1962 to Jesus and Mary Garcia. Luis was raised back in the day on 12th Street with many other raza, the Mosquedas, the Castañedas, the Estradas and Orozcos, along with his four siblings. It was a great time in the neighborhood. I remember back in the day when I was a child, you know, it's getting a little late, maybe 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, where it's time to go to sleep, you know. well. We'd go upstairs and go to sleep, or I would, they would think we were asleep, I was sleeping, but I would be wide awake listening to the music all night long. And that's how I, I, the passion was there for the music, you know, even to this day, my mother walks around with her Kindle, listening to music all day, and uh, so I think that's probably where I got it from. With music in his soul, Louis, the self-taught musician, played with the Saginaw High Trojans and went on to entertain with groups La Vario TNT, La Melodia, Carnales Beat, Tecate, Grupo Estilo, and Cubo. Chiquita, pero mi cosa. I remember going to the dances when I was when I was younger, also. And I was just amazed, just looking at the stage, looking at the musicians perform. And I would say to myself, I said, um, I want to do that. I want to be on stage. We were playing every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, it was back, back in the day, you know, in the mid-80s, early 80s, mid-80s. That, that's when the music was striving, you know, to be, you, there was a lot of places to play. So, back then... In the 80s, you know, it was, it was real strong. Musica Tejana was popular in the late 80s, reaching its peak with Salina Quintanilla. After her passing in 1995, it took a nosedive. Still, the musicos kept playing. But the station, you know, just trying to keep it, just trying, trying to keep the, the onda going and keep it uh, alive. In 2005, Louis, while playing with Grupo Estilo, was hired to play at Player Sports Bar in Bridgeport. It was owned by Valerie Campbell. The two started dating and soon were married and for the last eight years have been instrumental in keeping Tejano music alive, hiring bands week after week while the people dance the night away. <laughs> The life of the region's Tejano story continues to evolve and Luis Garcia is at the forefront. In November of 2012, Garcia and a few friends began an online Tejano radio station. Saginaw's Raza could now tune in 24-7 to local Tejano programming. MidwestTejanoRadio.com was an idea that I had a couple years ago. Louis always thought that we were missing something in this community as far as the Tejano music was concerned. Um, and he had children that were growing up and everybody was listening to rap music and I think he wanted so much to be a part of what the Hano music was all about because that was our, our part of our culture. Needless to say, I'm very proud of my brother Louis for his accomplishments and uh, he is well deserving of this award. And 
I, I really appreciate that uh, I'm getting this recognition. Uh, but it's not only for me, it's for uh, my family, my wife that's always supported me through everything that I've done, uh, my mother, my sister, and, and the rest of my, uh, my brothers and sisters. And like all the, the DJs and uh, Frank Medell that's been there since day one with this whole project. So uh, I shared this Adelante Award with my family and all my friends and um, it's a great feeling to know to be recognized by La Unión Civica Mexicana, a great organization um, keeping the culture alive here in the Midwest and our community. We all need to embrace what we have and just keep on going. Adelante.